Hello, Alvin Drill. This is IT Pros. Welcome back to my IT workshop. So I'm having a problem in this video. In what video? I don't have a problem. So I, I have this HP ProBook 640G1 laptop. And the issue is every time I, I try to turn it on, uh, it doesn't show anything on the screen. OK, so I'm going, I'm going to show you around how it looks. So it's a bit up. I believe this laptop is from 2013, 2014. So it's kind of old for 2021. So as you can see, we cannot do anything. I'm going to turn it on like this, and I'm going to show you. So we're going to wait, should be quick, nothing is happening. And while we are waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So we are still waiting for something to show up. There is no sound, there are no beeps on the laptop. By the way, if you have five bits beeps on an HP laptop, click on the top right of this screen and you're going to watch a video to help you how to troubleshoot that. So still, we're still waiting and there is nothing on the screen. So something is really going on with this laptop. As you can see, the power is on, there is no beeps, there is nothing. So the, the screen, we are not seeing anything on the screen. So I have this other external monitor behind this laptop and I'm going to connect it, you, connect it using this VGA cable. So as soon as I connect it, as you can see, I have an image. So there is this image, it says BitLocker Recovery, that has nothing to do with the problem we have. That's another issue that I have to troubleshoot later. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is the laptop is working. If, if, if I connect it to an external monitor, I'm going to have image. The issue is that, is that in the laptop, I don't see anything. So we can isolate it saying that the laptop, the, the screen, uh, the laptop screen is the issue. So I'm going to shut it down as you can see there. And now, uh, as you can see, the monitor doesn't have an image uh, either. So the problem is here. So I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I discharge myself of any static electricity that, that I might have in my body by touching a metallic surface. I did that before the video. So what we're going to do next is we have to remove the cover for the, for the screen. So using my plain head screwdriver, we're going to do just that. So this method works for many models, not only for HP, can be Dell, Lenovo, or any other thing. So what we're going to do very carefully, by the way, we are going to do this and you have to pull it to yourself. So you can do it many times with your fingers, but in this model was kind of tight, so I had to use my uh, plain head screwdriver. So <laughs> I made a mistake there. So you have to pull it very softly to yourself. So as you can hear, make some noises. So do it very, very slowly, take your time. You don't want to break, you don't want to break any holder in your, uh, that attaches um, the plastic cover to the, uh, <coughs> to the, to the uh, I mean, to the holders and the metallic part of the screen. So you do this uh, like this, very slowly, very carefully, and now you remove it all. Sometimes you cannot remove it, that's fine, but in this case, I was able to do it. So we put this aside, and as you can see, this is the screen. So it has, uh, the problem is here, uh, I don't see it uh, broken or something. So it has four screws in this model, in any other models they might have more. So using my Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to remove it. So as you can see there, I'm going to remove the first one. And while doing that, this is, this is your second chance to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it the first time. So four screws is not, uh, it's not a lot. So we're going, we remove them very quickly. And now very carefully, we're going to remove the screen itself. So as you can see there, try to do it very, very carefully. You don't want to break anything. And it falls like this. So I'm going to put the screws somewhere else because they are in the way. And now I'm showing you the back of the screen. So it's very light, it's very thin. And sometimes this is the problem, the interface between the screen and the motherboard. So sometimes you have to replace that. Sometimes it's broken, sometimes it's worn off or something. So I'm seeing in the back the connector, and as you can notice, it's loose. So as you can see there, it should be connected, but it's not. You can see it there. Uh, so that's the connector. That's the connector exactly, but it's not connected as you can see there. So it had the, it has this kind of tape plastic that uh, 
uh, that protects it from being disconnected. But in this case, it's, it didn't work. I don't know what happened here. Maybe it, it, the laptop fell or maybe they replaced this um, um, a screen in the past and it was loose. I don't know. But I just know that I have to connect it back. So it's kind of difficult. Uh, and, I, and another thing, I don't f feel that this, this is broken. I mean, there is it's it, it has no problem. So it's just disconnected. So I'm going to connect it back. It's kind of difficult with this tape plastic. Sometimes you have to remove it and replace it. But in this case, I didn't have to do that. So even sometimes it's not fully disconnected. So you're going to see some lights on the screen. So but in this case, there was nothing. So as you can see, I have connected back and trying to push it. Don't do it very hard. You don't want to break anything. So once you do that, you kind of put it back and then we're going to turn it on to see if it works. So I'm not, I'm not going to attach it. I'm just going to leave it like that and we're going to turn on the computer. So as you can see there, uh, allowed me a few seconds. So adjust my camera and I'm going to turn it on. So as you can see, after a few seconds, we have an image. Yay. So we have the same error bit, bit locker. Again, this is not related to the <laughs> screen issue. That's not related, but we have uh, we have an image. So I'm going to shut it down, turn it on again. I'm going to press now the escape button to have access to the system menu. So HP and there you go. That's the system menu. So as you can see, we have image now. Now, the next step, if it's not broken, in this case, it's not. It's to uh, hide that interface, that cable, that connector between the screen and the motherboard. So I'm going to I'm going to try to hide it. So like you see me doing there, I'm trying to hide that interface behind the screen so it doesn't cause any problem in the future. So once I have that done, again, take your time, <laughs> take your time. So I'm going to put back everything. So I have my four screws there and um, that, that's the, the next step. So you, you just put it back. You just take your time. It's not very difficult, but make sure you are uh, attaching it securely to the to the chassis of the of the monitor of monitor. I mean, of the screen. So as you can see me doing. I'm doing just that. And the last step is to put back the cover. So you are going to hear some cracks. I shut down the computer by mistake. So you have to press it like that and make sure everything is uh, uh, firmly attached, firmly all the cover, like that. So keep pressing it around the, the screen, not the screen itself, so you are sure that it's secure. So now I'm going to turn it on again just to show you that I shut it down by mistake. I'm pressing the escape button again to have access to the system BIOS or system menu. So, that's how you, uh, that's what I wanted to show in this video, guys, how to uh, fix a laptop that has a black screen or it's not showing anything. Sometimes you just have to tweak it, adjust it, and sometimes you have to replace all the screen. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.